I think as with all of the big chat events, it's well put together. I like the group uh, approach to delivering it rather than a lecture. And I like the way in which we're all able to get involved in what's going on. I'm here representing my organisation, but I'm also a Sefton resident, so it was very relevant to me on a personal level as well. I felt like there were opportunities to talk about the concerns that people have around the savings that have got to be made in the clinical commissioning group, and also there were opportunities to put forward some possible solutions as well. There are schemes that you've heard about in other parts of the country, you know, they've been in the press. It's positive that people were being asked what they thought about them. I think it would have been helpful to have had a bit more information about what's worked in other parts of the country relating to those schemes. Um, but at least there was that opportunity to be involved in the discussion. It was very interesting because I hadn't heard about them um, outside of this event and again very relevant to my own um, experience as a Sefton resident. I think they're obviously faced with some very tough decisions and was a good opportunity to learn about how these decisions are made and examined and I think a genuine um, desire to involve people in the local community. I have some concerns about the way in which the medicines trial is working, um, but I do see the need for it. Uh, uh, from personal experience, I actually am prescribed medicines like that. I don't see the difficulties involved in it. I don't like the fact that uh, the CCG has to save funds, but I also recognise it's not within their control, and so therefore I suppose we have to look at the best way to do that, which is we've had a chance to do that today. The most important thing would be to make sure that people affected by the decisions that are being made, so the people using the services, were involved and included. I'd certainly find a way to reduce the money that's spent on agency provision, both for GPs and for uh, non other clinical staff. Uh, I think that's a very expensive way of filling up a, a shortage in qualified people. In working life you quite often think if this was my business and you hope that that would help you make the best decisions and the most objective decisions but it's very difficult when you know you're dealing with vulnerable people to make decisions with your head in ignoring your heart and I'm satisfied that they're doing their best in, to make those decisions in the fairest way possible.